Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Twister, and today I'm bringing you another GTA Online video because Rockstar have released some new information on an upcoming DLC which has actually recaptured my interest for GTA Online because one part in particular, which I'm going to get straight into, uh, really sounds pretty cool. And this is the fact that uh, we're going to have kind of an update that expands on uh, the VIP modes and organization systems that was added into GTA Online from the executives DLC and this basically looks like we're going to be able to take part in some more money making activities on top of the VIP modes and in this Rockstar Newswire post it explicitly says that your organizations will be able to start taking part in contraband trafficking. So all this sounds pretty interesting, I'm not just going to read directly from this Rockstar Newswire post, I will link it down in the description so you guys can take a look at it for yourselves uh, but this basically looks like we're going to be able to have uh, some of these uh, new contraband trafficking activities which my best guess will involve drug smuggling and drug dealing uh, new ways to earn more money which is always good apparently we'll be able to uh, buy some new properties that will involve some kind of headquarters place uh, where we can maybe run these kind of uh, these illegal operations and uh, there's one screenshot that they did put in the Rockstar Newswire post which could possibly be this kind of headquarters place you can see a, a computer with the Securo serve logo on it and then obviously uh, an organization maybe team uh, in the background it doesn't really go into too much detail as a as to everything that this new update will contain but it like they say it, it does look like it is just going to be kind of uh, rockstar's way of expanding on the executives and other criminals dlc which is a really good thing because in my opinion that's probably the best dlc that we've had in gta online it brought kind of so many new things into the game uh, it brought a load of cool new cars uh, obviously that's when we got the yachts as well and kind of the the biggest thing gameplay wise that I was really really pleased with and it's probably one of my favorite additions to GTA Online that we've had it's the fact that we can set up our organizations become a VIP have access to new missions directly from free mode you know uh, the uh, the VIP modes I've played a ton I think they're they are again one of my favorite things to do in GTA Online buying the yacht playing piracy prevention hopefully we will have uh, more functionality within our yacht because after you've bought a yacht there's really not much to do on it other than do piracy prevention and that's only one VIP mode uh, so hopefully with these kind of new uh, things to do with organizations and VIP modes hopefully it will add some more stuff to do with our yacht maybe that could be tied in with the whole headquarters thing I don't know we'll just have to wait and see but it does sound really really cool and also as with all the other kind of VIP modes uh, that we currently have it looks like there's going to be a way to compete between other organizations with these new activities. Uh, specifically, it does say that you need to watch for raids on your warehouses between shipments. Now, I did say I wasn't going to uh, read directly off there. I'm just taking a couple of quotes. But again, it does sound interesting. Uh, like, the, the current VIP modes, you can start them up in free mode and then you'll be competing with other organizations and other people in free mode for a certain objective such as piracy prevention and then a hostile takeover getting the briefcase uh, it all ties in with free mode and competing with other players as well as just completing them for yourself so uh yeah i really cannot wait for this new uh, dlc that looks to add to the organization system because that is one of the coolest things to do currently in gta online and i'm really really pleased with that the second main thing that's mentioned in this Newswire post is the fact that we're going to be getting even crazier stunt races in GTA Online. And you can see this screenshot. We've got some crazy kind of loop the loop going around what looks to be the maze bank with cars flying in between. It's got the like uh, the US flag colors and the, the uh, red, white, and blue. And it looks honestly crazy. It looks like we'll be getting these in Crater as well as maybe... Uh, Rockstar made races just kind of highlighting these crazy stunts that we'll be able to do in races so uh, not too sure how I feel about that it's obviously going to be cool to play for a while but I don't know I think the real fun is going to come with the actual uh, creator tool and what people can actually uh, make in the creators because people already make some really interesting creations whether that be races uh, captures and stuff like that you know snipers versus stunters was an actual LTS game mode uh, but all these things that can be done in the creator already are pretty damn cool. And the fact that there's going to be even more crazy and creative stuff that, that Rockstar are allowing people to do within that creator is kind of just uh, them lifting the limitations a bit. Because although creator does offer freedom, it does also have its limitations, which a lot of people have complained about in the past. It has been improved and it looks like there's going to be even more crazy stuff 
for specifically stunt races. They don't really mention anything else other than uh, stunt races. And then with this focus on stunt races, it does look like we're going to be getting uh, stunt vehicles. I'm not too sure what that could involve, uh, but new vehicles, new gear, uh, and all this uh, kind of focus on stunt races uh, is really, really cool because the creator itself has a massive impact in especially the racing community. If without the uh, without the creator, the racing community would not be what it is today. It's what people create gives the game so much replayability rather than just having the Rockstar made tracks because the Rockstar made tracks, uh, they are pretty boring, pretty bland compared to what people create in the actual creator mode. So again, this is pretty good news. Two of the main aspects which I think have added uh, the most replayability into the game and then also we're going to be getting new adversary modes on top of that. Uh, sometime soon and then also the special event weeks that we've been having quite regularly over the past few months They'll also continue as well Hopefully we'll get some good ones like double money and RP across all races Maybe the heist ones again the heist ones were quite fun They got everyone playing a certain heist which was I'd say pretty good and then uh, even the contact missions again Hopefully they'll all be coming back soon with these regular special event weeks. Yeah, this is really good news This is coming in a DLC update relatively soon. It doesn't say when, it doesn't say how long we're gonna have to wait. It does just say it's coming soon. So we'll have to wait and see if Rockstar release any more details on this update. I would imagine we'll get more information or little snippets of info on this uh, on this DLC update rather soon. Uh, it could be a few weeks, could be maybe months, but hopefully we're not waiting too long because this does sound rather cool. I actually can't wait to see uh, what this uh, DLC update will entail. So. Uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on this DLC below. Check out the actual full Newswire post if you want to get all the information that Rockstar have given to us. I will have thrown some of the screenshots on the screen throughout this video, but you can again view them in the Rockstar Newswire post. So, yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like rating if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you are new, and I'll hopefully see you all in my next video. See you later, guys.